Well, hello, First Baptist. Uh, I'm Pastor Matt, and I'm here with Jen, uh, my wife, and uh, we want to say that we hope that uh, this morning you have a great morning of worshiping Jesus, uh, whether you're gathering together in a small group or worshiping with your family or uh, worshiping uh, from uh, your, your couch or your chair, whatever. Uh, we pray that you have a great morning worshiping God. Uh, I want to uh, kick off with our three big things, and uh, normally we start off with a, a short devotional, but I'll get to that here in a little bit, and you'll kind of see why uh, we'll we'll get to that. Uh, but the first announcement uh, is in regards to worship. So we're going to go worship, grow, send, so our three core values uh, today. So first is worship, uh, and the big announcement is that uh, starting on May 24th, we are going to be gathering again at uh, at our at our building at 3003 uh, Mulberry Avenue, and we're going to gather together as a church, and uh, we're going to sing and uh, hear from God's Word and pray together. And so we encourage you that if you feel comfortable uh, heading out and um, being around other believers, uh, we, uh, we encourage you to come gather with us. But uh, we also recognize that probably half, maybe even more of you uh, will want to continue to worship from home in this upcoming season. And so we encourage you to do so. Uh, feel the freedom uh, to do that, uh, to continue to gather with, um, with your family, uh, continue to uh, watch our services online. So that's our plan uh, is to uh, record, continue to videotape um, our services and make those available to you. Uh, but uh, we're still working on a few of those details, uh, but like I said, the main thing we want you to realize here is that May 24th, we are going to start gathering again um, at, um, I keep wanting to say our church, um, but our church is the people, and so we are, we'll be gathering together um, at our building um, on our grounds, and we encourage you to join us uh, if you feel comfortable. So, uh, but once again, if you don't, uh, please stay home, and we are going to find a way to care for you, to love you, to make you feel connected uh, in this upcoming season. And so uh, we look forward to having you join us uh, whenever you feel uh, comfortable. All right. Okay. Well, second thing is, uh, is our devotion. And I want to share with you from a little bit from uh, Exodus chapter 20, verse 12, uh, which says, honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land that, that the Lord your God is giving you. Uh, as many of you know, uh, today, if you're watching this on Sunday, is Mother's Day. And we are commanded in Scripture to honor our fathers and our moms, all right? And not just on Mother's Day, um, but on every day. But we especially want to take time uh, today to honor our moms. And so that's uh, part of our GROW announcement. Uh, we not only want to be uh, growing in Christ doesn't mean we just grow to know more about Him and grow in our love for Him, but we grow in our love for others. And so we want to be showing uh, our love uh, to our moms uh, today. And so uh, while we are actually doing this video, while you're actually watching this, we want you to pause the video or uh, keep watching and we will wait. Um, <laughs> we want you to uh, go over to your mom if she's in the room, uh, tell her you love her, uh, hug her. Um, yeah, that, that's okay in this, in this season uh, for you to continue to hug your mom. You don't have to keep six feet uh, away from her. Um, but yeah, go over and tell your mom that you love her, uh, that you're thankful for her. Uh, if your mom is not in the room with you or not in your home, uh, please send her a text, send her a message, uh, give her a phone call. Uh, do it now before you forget. And so uh, once again, we're going to wait here for a little bit uh, and, and let you go. Uh, tell your mom that you love her uh, in whatever way you want to. All right. We're serious. Go love your mom. Uh, go tell your mom that you love her, uh, that you're thankful for. Her. OK. All right. Secondly, or finally, not secondly, but finally, uh, we want to be a church that's being sent out uh, to share the good news of the gospel with others. And while Mother's Day is a joyous day for many, uh, we also recognize that it is hard uh, for some. There are many women in our church and in your life that have lost someone uh, that has lost a child, either in the womb, uh, maybe they've lost a child at a young age, or maybe they have uh, adult children that, that they've lost. And uh, so Mother's Day is, is difficult for them. For others, Mother's Day is difficult because uh, for a variety of reasons, maybe they haven't been able to have children. And finally, 
Uh, Mother's Day may be difficult for uh, some other people because uh, their mom is not around. And uh, maybe your mom has has gone and uh, is living with Jesus right now, and so your mom's not around. Um, and I guess one more here, maybe uh, this Mother's Day will be really difficult for you because you can't see your mom. Maybe your mom is uh, choosing to, uh, to, to self-isolate in this season. Uh, maybe she's in an assisted living or nursing home where you can't go visit her. And so we recognize that Mother's Day uh, may be really difficult. This Mother's Day may be really difficult for you. And so um, I just want to have Jen uh, just share a little bit about how Mother's Day has changed for her um, throughout her life and especially over this last year. Yeah, so for the majority of my life, um, leading up to any time recently, uh, Mother's Day has been a joyful occasion. Um, my mom is wonderful. She did a great job raising me. I have a fantastic mother-in-law. I have a lot of um, great, both of my grandmas, um, my one grandma who's deceased um, was wonderful, and my grandma who is still alive is wonderful. Um, and I have a lot of great grandmotherly kind of figures in my life who love me well and have cared for me well. So Mother's Day has always been a really easy holiday for me to celebrate. Um, the first uh, five years of being a mom myself have been great too. We've got two great kids and it's been a joy to be a mom to both of them. Um, but obviously most of you know that last year we had the joy of uh, adopting two embryos and um, that season brought a lot of waiting and uh, excitement and hope and we were really thrilled to be able to add two kids to our family. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the past year obviously didn't go how we had hoped. We had hoped that we would have two more kids physically here with us to um, celebrate Mother's Day with and um, to love on and nurture and share Christ with, but um, that's not how the Lord had our year. Uh, so we've experienced um, a year of loss of two kids that uh, we had hoped for and had prayed for, and you joined us in praying for them. Um, but in God's sovereign plan, he chose not to have them be with us. And so this year is the first year that very personally I've experienced the grief and uh, the sorrow that can come along with Mother's Day. Last week it hit me pretty hard um, that we were celebrating Mother's Day and I'm not 20 weeks pregnant like I was planning on. And um, that's just evidence that sin has corrupt our um, experience of motherhood, but uh, God is good. And the, the joy that I can have is that we have two kids now that are in heaven instead of waiting frozen in clinics and uh, we will have the joy of being reunited with them someday yep. and so uh, jen just shared a little bit of encouragement uh, that has that god has given her uh, to help her uh, in this season and so we want to be a church that's passing on that encouragement to others and so we encourage you this week uh, maybe it's today uh, maybe it's right now, maybe you just pause this video and, and send it out. But more than likely, you have someone in your life uh, that Mother's Day is really difficult today. And so we want you, uh, we want to be a church that's coming alongside them, that's encouraging them, that's pointing them to the hope that they have in Jesus. And so uh, I have a few verses that you could even uh, pass on to them if you would feel comfortable doing that. Uh, so 1 John 3, 1, uh, which says, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. Uh, just as a reminder that, that we are God's children, that he loves us, uh, and that uh, that we can put our hope uh, in that. Uh, secondly, uh, Matthew 5, 4, which says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Uh, just a reminder that God will be coming around uh, all these people that are weeping, that are mourning, that are finding today rather difficult. Um, and finally, uh, Revelation 21, 4, which says, uh, that that he, being Jesus, will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. Uh, just pointing people, pointing uh, moms or would-be moms or grieving uh, women uh, to the hope that we have that one day we will 
uh, rise again with Christ uh, through faith in him and uh, that, that God will wipe away all the tears, all the hardships, all the suffering that, that we go through on, on Mother's Day. All right. So uh, please uh, think of a mom, a woman in your life that today may be really difficult for. And uh, please be uh, encouraging them in some form or fashion. And so we uh, just want to close uh, just praying uh, for these moms, uh, praying for these women uh, that, uh, that God will come alongside them this day. And so we, we encourage you just to join us in prayer now. So God, we love you. And uh, we thank you for uh, the many moms in our lives, uh, the moms who have loved us well, who have taught us well, who have pointed us to Jesus. And uh, Father, we pray that you would bless them and fill them with joy um, on this day. Uh, Father, we pray for comfort for grieving moms who have lost uh, children. Uh, Father, we pray for comfort for those women who have struggled with having kids uh, due to infertility. Uh, Father, we pray for comfort for those women who have not uh, had kids uh, because they're living a life or uh, living in a season of singleness. Uh, Father, we pray for comfort for uh, grieving kids who have lost their moms, uh, who are remembering their moms today. Uh, Father, we pray that, uh, that you would restore their hope in you, that you would remind them that you are God of comfort, you are God of joy, you are God uh, who uh, will work all things out for the good of those uh, who love them. Uh, Father, remind them of the many blessings uh, that you have given them. Uh, Father, if nothing else, just the salvation that they have in you and the fact that they are your children. Uh, Father, we pray for growth in Jesus for all of our kids uh, and all of our youth who, uh, Father, will uh, maybe be moms uh, someday and that you would equip them for that role. And Father, we pray for the rest of us that you would help us to honor all our moms with joy today uh, while also caring for those who are grieving uh, on this Mother's Day. May we all remember that you are a true source of joy and hope and comfort. In Jesus' name we pray. All right. Amen. All right. Thank you for joining us, church. Uh, once again, have a great morning of worshiping God, and we look forward uh, to gathering uh, with many of you um, here in two weeks. And for the rest of you who are staying home, we look forward to the day uh, when you will be able to gather with us as well as in addition to coming alongside you in this upcoming season, uh, continuing to help you connect in with our church and be a part of this family that God has created. All right. We love you all. We thank you. Uh, have a great day.